Hi everyone, my name is Karthik and welcome to this video on configuring Shield at One Health Check and best practices around it. Here is the agenda for this talk. We will talk a little bit about Shield at Once and some of its benefits and features. We will then dive into the main topic and talk about Shield at One Health Check. Why are Shield at One Health Check important? I will then show you how to set up the health check and lastly I will share best practices for configuring Shield at One health check and go over the use cases. So let's get started. AWS Shield Advance works together with AWS WAF to detect and mitigate DDoS attack at the application layer. With AWS Shield you can protect the following resources. AWS CloudFront Distribution, Amazon Route 53 Hosted Zone, AWS Global Accelerator, uh, classic load balancers, application load balancers, and elastic IP. Shield Advance provides enhanced layer 3 and layer 4 protection, could be configured to respond automatically to mitigate application layer attacks against your protected application layer resources. You also have exclusive access to advanced real-time metrics and reports for extensive visibility into attacks on your AWS resources. As a AWS Shield Advanced customer, you can contact our 24 bar 7 Shield response team for assistance during an attack. Associating a health check to your resources enables health based detection for improved responsiveness and accuracy in attack detection and mitigation. Shield Advanced also offers some cost protection against spikes in your AWS bill that might result from a DDoS attack against protected resources. Shield add on health checks are used to monitor the health of your application origin, such as load balancer, CloudFront distribution, or EC2 instance. Shield Advance can use the result of the health checks to determine whether your application is healthy and performing with acceptable parameters. SRT team engages with you directly if the Amazon Route 53 health check associated with your protected resource becomes unhealthy during an event that's detected by Shield Advance. Health checks allow Shield Advance to detect degraded application availability due to high volume of DDoS attack traffic overwhelming the origin. Health data provides Shield with additional context to fine tune threshold and traffic management. Changes in health metrics act as an early indicator that an attack may be occurring. Health checks help confirm when an overloaded origin has sufficient capacity again after attack mitigation. Granular health metrics give visibility into the impact of DDoS attack on targets. If there is an availability issue, health indicators help determine whether the root cause is DDoS or something else. In summary, Shield at One Health Check provide critical visibility into the availability and performance of origin under attack. This allows Shield to better defend applications and maintain uptime for customers. So let's look into how to configure the Shield Advance Health Check. To configure the Shield Advance Health Check, you need to create a Health Check in Route 53 and then associate the Health Check with your Shield Advance protection. To create a Health Check in Route 53, go to the Route 53 console and choose Health Check. Under the name, you can provide the name of the Health Check. Under what to monitor, here I will be using an endpoint since I am monitoring the underlying resource to be an EC2 instance. Under specify endpoint type, I have selected the IP address. You can either use this option or if you have a domain name, then you can specify that as well. Now we can configure the advanced uh, configuration. I have selected the interval to be 30 seconds. Depending on your use case, uh, you can configure with a 10 second interval if that's required. For the failure threshold, you can configure the number of health checks should a resource be determined to be success or failure. I'm going with the default option of three. For the string matching, latency graph, and invert option, I'm not enabling them. You have two options for health checkers to be run. Uh, either use the recommended one uh, or you can use specified regions for your use case. Here I am going with a de the default option. Now you have configured your health check and you can go ahead and create. So once you have created a health check, you would in route 53, you would need to associate the health check in your Shield Advance protection. So go to the Shield Advance console, the navigation pan, choose 
protected resources. Click the name of the resource that you want to associate the health check with. Select the resource and click on configure protection and click on selected resource. Select the health check that you created recently which will be showing up in the drop down box. Click associate health check and then you have successfully once you add next you have successfully added the health check. So let's talk about the best practices for shield advance health check. In terms of to maximize detection and minimize noise, focus on the target critical resources like CloudFront, load balancers, and EC2 instances. Have a precise and a focused check. So defining health check reflecting your application specific need and also working on minimizing unnecessarily alarms. Uh, Focusing on calculated checks will help you in such a way that you're combining the metrics like latency and error rates for comprehensive health assessments. And then you can have custom metrics based on your use case to create and utilize these health indicators which are tailored for your application and monitoring. To look into optimized response and maintenance, have a healthy uh, check before the association ensure that your underlying instances resources are healthy before linking them to the shield advance configuration and test and separate use staging or test environments for health check to check whether they are functioning under nominal conditions by keeping them production associations clean in this way your production instances will be running as per required guidelines so focusing on the use cases for Shield Advanced Health Check, uh, monitor the availability and performance of CloudFront Origin by monitoring the state of CloudWatch alarms that measure the response time and 5xx error rate of the origin. You can base Health Check on CloudWatch alarms, monitoring load balancer metrics for ALB, NLB, new connection or active flow counts, setting thresholds above normal levels for ALB, NLBs, healthy host count setting thresholds based on minimum required for ALBs HTTP 5xx errors generated by targets multiple metric based health check creates a more comprehensive view of load balancer application health you can monitor an endpoint by specifying its elastic IP address in shield advanced health check this checks that a TCP connection can be established to the resource behind that IP. You can also base a health check on CloudWatch alarm that measures EC2 instant CPU utilization. Set an alarm threshold for high CPU usage like 90% and, uh, and the health check will correlate to that alarm state. I have also provided you a link uh, where it provides additional guidelines on commonly used metrics for Shield Advanced health check. Shield at one health checks are important part of protecting your application from DDoS attacks. By following the best practice outlined in this video, you can ensure that your Shield at one health checks are configured correctly and that they are providing the best possible protection for your application. You can also find more information on Shield at one health checks in the AWS documentation. I have also provided QR codes where you can scan them and you can look into additional documentations for Shield at one health check. Thank you for your time and happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS.